Hey guys, Steven here back with another video. Today we are in San Marcos. We are at the Skylark Lana Homes. Today we're going to be viewing the Residence One Next Gen. So it does have the Next Gen suite in the home. And um, just doing a quick video here, yeah. just to show you this one. Um, we are off of Las Bosas Road, off of the 78, very close to Palomar College. I'll just show you, I'll give you a quick view over here of what it looks like around here. They are still building out. Very, very quiet neighborhood. Um, I'm gonna go inside right now. They're still doing a lot of construction here, so it's quite loud. So we'll go inside and, and check out this home. Just give me one second if I can turn the thing on. Okay. So like I was saying, this is residence one. This is about 2,800 square feet, just a little bit over, so it's exactly, it's 2,835. It's a four bedroom, three and a half bath. And this one's starting at around 1.1 million. So right as you enter, so there's the front door, very, High ceilings here makes it feel very big in here which is quite nice right as you enter to the left is where the next-gen suite is for those of you who don't know what a next-gen suite is it's kind of like a little mother-in-law little mini apartment attached to the home or like an ADU but attached to the home so it does have its private entrance and that's the door there Guarantee you it's locked. Oh, nope. So there's the private entrance there. So if you ever rent it out or do like an Airbnb, if they allow you to in this community, um, then they have their own private, private entrance that won't be bothering you. And, and it's, you know, it'll be, it'll be a lot nicer and have your own privacy. Or if you have family come over, visit and stuff like that, they can go and and come back whenever they want without bothering you so here's like a little sitting area there's the tv little kitchenette yeah the microwave you can also maybe add a couple of different other things here if you want if you like to cook or whoever's going to be living here a spot for your fridge And then the bedroom. Closet. Bathroom there. So there's a sink. Here is the stackers. So you got the washer and dryer here. So they have their own private uh, washer and dryer, which is nice. They're not bugging you in the inside of the house. Also, I can't tell if it's on my end or not, but my daughter was playing with, with my camera earlier and I'm not sure if she touched the lens or not. So if it is kind of smudgy, I apologize. For those of you, of you who have kids, I'm sure you understand. <laughs> they can get into everything and touch everything. All right, so there you got a washer and dryer with a sink in the laundry room. The cabinets up top. So what you're seeing here, obviously the paint and stuff, the way it is like this, it's obviously a model home, so um, it's a little bit more custom. So here is the like a half bath.
And here is the living room, dining room, and kitchen area. So, high ceilings. Big area for a dining table. So this is a, an Ada. So you can fit a table with eight chairs on it. You can probably maybe push a 10, 10 maybe a tenner here. A little tight, but you can still fit it. Got the kitchen. So you're obviously going to have different options uh, when you purchase your your home with the colors and the scheme that you're you're going to like. Um, so obviously you get to pick your countertops and your cabinet colors. Um, standard, obviously they come more with a granite style, but you can definitely upgrade and get quartz if you'd like and different color cabinets. So these things that you're seeing here, you know, uh, the fireplace, the way that it's there, that would be an upgrade. Um, but this is a cool little room here. I kind of like it. It's like a, it's obviously attached to the house, but it feels like it's its own little, little room there. It's pretty neat. And you can kind of see how big it is by how big the sectional couch is. Gonna give you an idea how big it is. Uh, the wall here is pretty big to where you can still have a good size TV to watch sports or whatever you like to watch on TV. And I'll show you a view from this side of the stairs. And up there is where the loft is, where the fan is, if you can see it up uh, there. And I'll show you that in a little bit. And I'll also show you the, the pantry just for... You can have an idea of what it looks like. Thank you for the warning, low battery. And then you got the big sliding doors here, which is awesome. Brings a lot of natural light. We'll go out there in a second and I'll show you that little covered patio area that it's built in. Um, actually, I'll just show you now. So I'll go on the outside in a little bit. Um, built in, cool little sitting area. If you would like, maybe put a TV on, um, on this side or that side and have a cool little sit out area for the evenings and all the mornings if you like to sit out and drink your tea or go out and do some yoga or work out out there and get some fresh, and get your vitamin D for the morning. So this is the master. So the master is going to be downstairs. Sorry, I didn't mention that. But the master is downstairs for those of you who are looking specifically for a master room on the first floor. So pretty neat. Good size bedroom. I'll go on this side and show you. Also, I'll show you the view from the outside here. Good size yard. Obviously, model home. They're gonna they did up the the yard, but the yard's gonna just gonna come straight dirt, and you're gonna have to find a landscaper to come in and uh, redo it for you. We got contacts for that. We have a lot of clients who do buy new builds, um, and we have do we have contacts for landscapers who can help you customize your backyard. So that's an, also another thing to keep in mind. Also, if you have any specific questions about this home or the area, please feel free to comment down below and I'll be more than happy to, to answer those for you. So you got um, the his and her sink, good size. You got the, the uh, oh, my wife told me what the name was. I always forget the name of it, but the middle part to uh, actually, no, it's not because you don't have the part to put the chair where you can do your makeup and, and all of that. So never mind. You got a nice size tub. Right now, the, the ice baths are, are a big thing. Couldn't pay me to do it, but it's, I heard there's a lot of good benefits for it. 
just at least sitting in there for five minutes or something like that. But I'd rather sit in the sauna in the heat than sit in the cold. So there's the master closet, good size. So once again, if you're looking for a home that's two story, but you want the master room to be downstairs, this is a great option. So we're gonna go upstairs now. So typically in the in the regular homes that, that aren't upgraded, if you get a home that's that doesn't have any upgrades, the upstairs will be all carpet. So here has the wood floors. Um, but typically, if you don't do any upgrades, it will come all carpet on the upstairs, except the wet areas. So here there's like a little office. I guess your kids can do their homework here. That's obviously an upgrade, so that won't come like that. Low Thank you. Here is the second bedroom. So the main house has three bedrooms, plus the fourth bedroom that's in the next gen. Walk-in closet. Here is the third bedroom in the main house. I guess technically the fourth one, since we already saw the next gen bathroom, I mean, bedroom. And then here's gonna be the full bath upstairs. So you got the his and hers, or his and his, or hers and hers, whatever will be living here. Brothers and sisters, or family members. Bathroom and the shower. And here's the loft. Really good size loft as well. That back wall will be an upgrade. Let's see if it's actually real tile. Wow, it is. So they actually put real tile on the wall, which looks pretty neat. I'll go back so you guys can see that. Kind of cool idea. I actually have not seen that before, so that's pretty cool. I don't think I'll do it in my house, but it's actually pretty cool. And then I'll show you what it looks like from down here. I mean, sorry, from up here. So there's that. There's the house. We'll go check out the backyard. Um, the backyard, obviously, every lot is going to be different depending on the location of the lot, the size of the lot. If you're on a corner lot, if you're on a cul-de-sac, it would all de depend what your backyard would be. But this will give you just a good idea of what it could be. Or if you decide to wait towards the end of the build out, you can actually buy the model home itself. So It does come with a a bit of a price tag when you buy the actual model home because it does come all done up already. But that wouldn't be an option until the very end, so. So here's the backyard and here's how they did it. Kind of cool, little walk. Uh, like a mini, mini park, I guess you could say. You do your laps if you want to. If you don't feel like going to the park, you can get your laps in your backyard. Sorry if it's noisy out here. I'll try to talk a little bit louder. It's just they're building all the homes right now and all the construction, but I just kind of wanted to show you and give you an idea of uh, the view from here. Very nice and quiet here. Well, it's quiet when the construction's not going on, but right now it's just a little noisy. 
So you got a built-in barbecue, but here's the back view of the house. Also another thing to consider as well, the solar options. Um, here in California, if you are from out of state or, or new builds starting I think from 2018 and be, um, beyond, um, you have to have solar on your home. So either if you purchase it or lease it, uh, that's an option for you to, to do. Uh, right now, as, as I'm making this video at this time, uh, there are a lot of incentives right now for new builds as far as negotiating closing costs, uh, buying down your rate, even uh, including the solar into your per into the the, uh, the purchase price, which is which is huge. Typically, on a size like this home, on this home, a solar could be anywhere from twenty to thirty grand. So that could save you another twenty thirty grand um, if you can negotiate that. Um, you know, other things you can negotiate is uh, upgrades and uh, and different things like that. So if it's something that you're interested in, you know, feel free to give me a call. And we can talk about that and, and let you know about uh, different incentives that we can help you as agents um, get. A lot of the times uh, when you come by yourself, um, the workers here won't let you know about those incentives. But since we have relationships with them, we can definitely negotiate those things for you. It's never promised, but we can definitely um, try and do that for you. All right, guys, so my name is Steven. Um, like I said, if you have any questions about this specific home or any other home in the area, please, please feel free to reach out. You guys can like this video. That would help out quite a bit. And also, if you want to see any more updates of new builds and other homes in the area, please feel free to subscribe and you'll be notified of those videos. All right, guys, hope you have a good one. Bye-bye.